What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Pop Life Toys. We did some modifications to the studio today, trying to get things better ready for uh, what's coming. Uh, we took 18 pops to Sean with the BBGS yesterday. So as you can see, we're a little bit empty, but we tried to rearrange in a way that made sense and looks good. And for the most part, uh, top three shelves down, I think we did pretty all right. Um, I'm happy how it's turned out so far. Um, we got more to do, plenty more to do. Still haven't painted. Got the tiny ghost displayed in a good place. Um, set up a side shelf over here with a bunch of stuff. Covered up that hideous wire coming out of the wall, the black ethernet cord. And, uh, just kind of made it better. Um... Also put our camera in a new filming angle and pull in a new move there, leaving my audio on. So I pop out my chat. Go back to the good old stream yard. And uh, it's starting to come along. We spent a few hours on it today. I have two weeks out of school, so it is going good now. We got two or three spots left in mini number two on the, what is now the winner's choice waffle. Um, and then we got some crazy stuff. Um, coming that that's going to be awesome. Hold on one second. Sorry. Talking to Geeky Mama Bear, trying to help her figure out a computer situation. Um, that's not always as easy to put in a text message. But yeah, we've been getting things cleaned up, getting ready to go back to work tomorrow. That corner is actually empty over there, which is nice. Um, we've just been having a calm, kind of quiet day, which is really nice. I don't seem to get very many of those anymore. And now that I got two weeks out of school, I'm ecstatic. It's going to be great. Um, next semester is going to be pretty tough, so we'll see what happens. But we will be live on Luau tonight, and we are repping Geeky Mama Bear. Love this shirt, and uh, just so happened to be what I decided to wear today. Why my grades aren't updating in that class, I do not know. Because it's not due till tomorrow. But it's still in pulled in the grades. Okay. Not a big deal. We'll get it taken care of. How are y'all doing today? We have kind of left the hot toys alone. Hey, Bradley. But we rearranged all of the pots. We put the lightsabers out on display. Um, kind of situated the stuff where it made more sense our favorite things we moved uh, our monsters inc over here we put our troopers that we're so proud of over here and then put some stuff we really like like the new droids they just released from target over there and our sabines um two of our ahsokas are getting graded and vaulted and so we've got the two ahsokas with anakin and obi-wan there of course um just hanging out. I said I wasn't going to do Star Wars, and I did it, so if I'm going to do it. I might as well do it big. Uh, got to play with the kid on the lightsaber some today. Had a good time. I mean, it's just been a lazy day. We were at church, and they took Lucas's temperature, and it was a 101 point something, and then a 100.3, so we left just for caution. Got home. It's a 99. He's not sick, but so we watched church from the... Uh, TV, we did the stream, and it's not the same. But I mean, other than that, we just chilled today. It's been a very easy day. Cleaning in the shop hadn't even been bad. Trying to get pops reorganized and figure out what you want to display. Now that can be difficult because um, there's so much stuff I want to show off, and there's never enough room to show it off. But that's the way it goes sometimes. Um, 
The only pickup we did from Galactic Convention was the Darth Vader, even though I do have the 10 inch uh, Stormtrooper pre ordered from Target. Um, I kind of wanted that um, concept Boba Fett. But other than that, I mean, there wasn't much I was looking for. This came in the mail today. Super excited about this because we have the other three or the other two Echo Bases already out. Somehow we ordered two or three each of those. I got Chewy in today, which is the third of six from Echo Base. It looks like the next one's going to be the probe droid that finds them. Um, I've got Luke down there. I've got the Tauntaun over there that needs to come back over here. These will be set up in a display somehow where I don't know. Um, I'm going to get one more of those bookshelves eventually whenever Ikea stops being crazy with their shipping times. Yeah, I saw Jerry. Um, and I was like, dang it, mine's not coming. And then sure enough, Amazon updated the delivery to today. So really like them. Um, had somebody point out that picked up Luke for me though, or Han Solo, that the lightsaber's white, which is weird. And I thought he was supposed to have more snow on top of him. Chewy was. Mine, mine has just a little bitty like rub spot in the center of the forehead. But for once, it makes sense to have something flopped. And in the light, he actually really looks flopped. There we go. So what we did is we moved our webcam into the window to get a wider shot. And so until I get the curtain behind it, that's a little bit of extra light coming in. There's not much you can do about that. Jerry, man, come on and talk some Star Wars with me for a minute, brother. Uh, talk about this box battle coming up on Thursday night. I'm excited for that one. How about the fact that I finally, finally was able to add the 501st Clone Trooper to the collection, but I added him when he was at his most expensive for some stupid reason. Uh, or some lightsaber trivia. As you can see, I've got five legacy sabers behind me from Disney. I've got... One, two, three, four, five, six Black Series Sabres from Hasbro. And then I've got one Ultra Saber, uh, $75 mystery box, I think it was. And it's just a green. It looks cool, though. And you can hit people with it. <laughs> it's made for a little bit of sparring, a little bit of combat, a little bit of fun. So this is the, the view we'll see for a while. Hope you all been having a good day. I'm just a little bit anxious because my grades haven't updated for the end of term. Um, and I don't really get why. Doesn't make me happy. I just don't understand it. But it is what it is. Um, literally, the exam's done, so I don't have to worry. And I officially have my second uh, PC certification. Not that they mean anything, but they're there. That was um, two or three hours of my life this morning. I won't get back. But, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, PPG has been staying pretty steady, which I like. Um, uh, looking at the PPG on some of the pops I brought in, I had to put cash on top of a few of them to give you all a winner's choice because not enough of them set in the same price range. Yeah. Uh, the one I wanted to add, Doc Brown, just he's too expensive right now to put in the same waffle. 
Um, it's about 40 or 50 more PPG than the two Spartan troops, Spartan warriors. I was not a Halo kid. Um, when I was younger, I couldn't run and gun hardly at all. I think I played Halo once or twice, never had fast enough internet to play with other people. So I literally just got out of it. Looks like Tony Stark went down a little bit. Leia moved a little bit. Mando keeps going up. Queen Amidala is up a little bit. Rex is up a little bit. Shock Troopers down five. Boo, Mike, Sully. I really don't care what they sit at. They're never leaving. Um, was watching Geeky Mom Bear earlier, and she talked about collect what you like. Um, and I hear everybody say collect what you like. I have a combination of inbox and out of box figures. You can see Ray sitting right up there, and Cal Kestis and BD1 from Fallen Order sitting right there. And there's a lesson of the Force. There's a bunch of Legos we made. There's the 10 inch Chrome Mando behind there. Um, really happy with how everything's looking. Um, if I blacked out the window behind the camera, you would not have the glare on all the Ahsokas and Obi Wan's over there. But, I mean, it's not the worst setup in the world. Um, need another stand because Kylo Ren's saber is definitely just leaning. But that one's a cool saber to light up. I really like lighting up Luke's, too. Having to screw in the other piece so they could keep it thin as it should be and accurate is really nice. Um I sent both of my Ahsoka Rebels Pops to be graded. And I was going to send Sabine, but I just decided not to this time. I should have all those back in two weeks when uh, Sean drives up to pass me on the way to another state. And he's going to stop in and bring me stuff and I might give him more stuff. Which means... Um, I'll be calming down on lightsabers and paying grading fees. It's not the worst thing in the world, though. Um, really can't complain. I get to go hang out with Luau tonight. Man, the Poppin' Candy King. That's going to be fun. What do y'all think of the new background? Does it look good? Even managed to get my John Wick Chase and my gold BB-8. All of that stuff in the shot. And I just think it turned out great. I um, don't know what else I'm going to bring out, but I really do like it. I've got a whole bunch of bigger stuff over there that I would like to put out, but I haven't yet. The child sits down below me on a shelf almost by itself because it's just humanly impossible to display it. It's so big. Um, how would you get your Leonardo SpongeBob lunchbox graded? You cannot. They do not make a vault for that, unfortunately. Um, they're about to have two packs and six-inch pops, but not the lunchbox. You could use another company that grades toys, but it's not going to be the same thing. Um, but if you've got that one, how about this guy right here? I keep going to my monitor remembering where it used to be. Let's see, where can I get a good view? Can I get one right there? Baxter Stockman, Ninja Turtles. Glow in the Dark. That is a con exclusive. Um, this was shared uh, to another country, but the Glow in the Dark only came as con. He's like 360, 370, somewhere in there, which is crazy. Um, and the Glow on Deadite is just ridiculous. Now, I don't own these pops. Um, I am selling these for somebody to help him out. He's trying to buy a Jeep. But, I mean, it is what it is. Yes, Channel 34. I still play with toys. Um, but I also have a badass gaming PC right there. 
I don't know. No, I have four kids. Been married 12 years. I don't know who channel 29 and channel 34 are, but you're about to get dropped. We don't act like that on this stream. There you go. Sorry, guys. We got rid of them. Yep. I've never had spam in a live before. That's weird, too. Um, yeah, I know you need Baxter. Uh, really? There's another channel. And we deleted that one. And we're going to hide them, too. I mean, that's just what we got to do. Um, I don't play with toys. I collect. My kids collect. My, my wife collects. And uh, sucks for you that you can't afford to collect. Oh, my gosh. So many spam bots. Is there really another one of these? Really another channel? My channel's been going for over a year now. And really another channel? Hey, Jerry, come on and talk to us, bro. I love how they say play with toys, but. Uh, oh, my gosh. Leave us alone. That's all right. As they pop up, I just keep blocking them. Seriously, it's just like, I, I don't know if someone tried to attack our live feed or what, but I've got bot after bot jumping in. I've never had this before. I guess that means I'm popular enough now that uh, people just want to throw a bot in there, but we'll just keep hiding them. If I have any moderators that could come hang out with us. Um, Baxter's in a waffle right now, Bradley. Um, hey, Jerry, are you still with us, brother? Because you are now a moderator. Can you help me kick these people off the channel when they pop in? All you got to do is click on the three dots and uh, hide user on the channel. That'll get rid of them. They can comment on the videos, which I have to go and delete comments all the time. But they can no longer comment in the lives. Um, I had a list. What did I do with it? I had a PC parts picker list set up. Yes. Uh, how would I share that? I'm trying to help geeky mama bear, trying to convince her not to get a pre-built system. Um, so I am trying to help her build a system I literally build it for, I have a lot of the parts she needs here. Um, I think I'm just going to screen clip this and send it to her. Oh, you can literally share it right there. There's a link. Let's copy that. Let's go back to the good old Graham. So looking at the uh, Jerry, we'll talk because she needs a little bit different stuff than you probably need. And one thing I haven't told her about is with the release of the 3080 series graphics cards, um, you can get 2080 TIs that used to be $12.99 for about 500 bucks on the used market. You just got to be careful what you're buying. Make sure it wasn't, you know, overclocked to the point that it's burning up stuff um, and you're getting a good deal. Ask them when they bought it. 
a lot of people bought it two months ago, knowing they were told to wait. I watch all the tech channels. Um, Y'all have seen pictures of my system, but literally to not create the reflection, if you watch on Sabine and Ahsoka and then what, what happens when I hit that button, actually on a Grievous and Leia, you can see the lights reflecting. So until music or sound is coming out of my speakers, my fans stay white. And then when it's not going, they spin blue, jumping in. But when I hit live, they turn off. I'm sitting up higher just so I can show off my geeky mama bear shirt. But I am excited. I am in the Christmas gift swap number three. Hmm. I am excited about that. Um, Jerry, I will send you that list, um, but there's some things we could modify on there. I just use PC Parts Picker because Bitwit uses it. It gives you a good idea, but the trick is to look for deals. Um, I'm using an AMD Ryzen uh, 7 3700X on an X570 board, and that is because that X570 board is going to not only be upgradable in the future where you can put a better processor in it, it's already got support for PCI Gen 4, which is your faster memory like you're seeing in the PC and the uh, PS5 and the Xbox. Main Waffle is 85, 10, and 1. But with Baxter, you've got 250 in cash coming back because the original Waffle started with the Spartan Warriors at a much higher value, Bradley. Um, so the minis are 850, 10, and 1. And there's two or three spots left in mini number two. Um, like I said, um, on Dead Eye, you've got, let's see, on Freddy is the Mad Hatter, you got 300 cash coming back. On Baxter, you got 250. And on Dead Eye, you got 200. Um, to put them. <laughs> Campbell's. My gosh, you should have seen all the bots that just came in here. We had to block. It, it was hilarious. Channel 9, Channel 17, Channel 28, Channel 29, and then some random name. I gave Jerry a wrench so he could kick people out of here, but I was just hanging out. We uh, hung out and watched Geeky Mom Bear for a while today. Um, and then we've just been having a chill day. Um. Yeah, I decided today um, when I got started that I was going to run the Geeky Mama Bear shirt for Lou Al's Live tonight, and I stuck to it. Um, hold on. Uh, Trying to get Geeky Mama Bear to come ask in the chat so I don't have to look at the other monitor and type. But we put our camera way up behind us. Like, here's my monitors. Here's where they stop. And then the camera's way back here. We put our microphone right up here above where we're looking when we're talking. And then our light is up there. And the reason it looks like I'm not perfectly glancing at the middle of the screen is the camera's there, but I'm looking at the monitor here. It, it's a little bit of a trade-off, but it gives us that full view I wanted. Um, I think I'm going to hang the Super Plastics case with the Toilet Ninjas right over here, but I'm not sure yet. We did get all our Tiny Ghost up top. When we end up with more, I don't know what we're going to do. We picked up two chomps and a drop the other day. Man, I've never been able to get chomps, and that's why I stopped collecting them because I wasn't going to buy them anymore on the secondhand market. I picked up some chops. So, um, Papa Pop, as always, missed the drops, which means he'll be contacting me, and more than likely, my chops will go to him. I don't buy them necessarily to flip, but I pick them up because I have friends I know that are going to miss the drops. Um, 
Same thing I do when there's tiny ghosts I don't like, but there haven't been many that released I didn't like. I've got the throwback toy up there and the Captain Howdy that looks like the Ouija board. But I look at it as something different than the Ouija board. Geeky Mama Bear's here. Okay, so what we've been talking about, Geeky Mama Bear, because uh, Jerry's needing a computer too, is the build. AMD is killing it right now. Unless you're like high power gaming, Intel 10th gen uh, i10 processors are the way to go. Um, but AMD all the way up to their thread rippers uh, are definitely the way to go if your graphics are editing. And then Team Green on the graphics card, anything Intel, NVIDIA is destroying AMD still. So they just announced the 3080 series, which dropped all the 20 series drastically in price. Um, I put the same graphics card that I have in mind that I can run in 1440 settings when I'm gaming. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. I know, right? Uh, it's not like Gatorade where you have that weird aftertaste in your mouth and I'm drinking one too. These are my favorites. Um, I didn't think they would be my favorites because I'm normally not a huge fan of orange in a drink, but they're so good. And they're like as good, if not better for you than just drinking plain water. Or at least I tell myself that they're not bad for you. Um, so we did manage to get the uh, echo base, but Geeky Mama Bear, you mentioned in, um, your live stream collect what you like. I don't have those guys up there because they're valuable. I wanted Luke and Han as stormtroopers to go with blue box Leia in the white dress and the trash compactor scene because in episode four, I think that's one of the funniest scenes in the original movies when they go to rescue Leia and Luke says, it's a princess. And they go to rescue Leia and they get stuck in the trash compactor. I love that scene. So when I knew those pops existed, I said, oh, I'll never be able to get those, but those would be cool to have. So I started with Leia and started with the trash compactor scene. And sure enough, I got to those. Um, I did a little wheeling and dealing. Now, Mike Sully Boo and George Sanderson, who's off getting graded right now, I paid legit for those. But those have a meaning tied to my brother, who's now 18, with cerebral palsy. We watched that movie every day after school for a year. And those pops have sentimental value to the point that they're more important to me than any of the, the stupid expensive ones sitting right up here. Um, it's just, I mean, it's what I like. My nine-year-old built most of those Lego helmets right there, which are rated 18 and up. You can't really see it, but there's a Darge, uh, Dom Toretto's charger up there that he helped me build. I say help because I didn't have a choice. You can't see it, but I've got Grievous' ship right here. This is cool. So General Grievous' ship, I had to get it. I still need the Razor Crest. Um, so I get them graded because I want to protect boxes and because I like the way the grading looks. I don't get them graded for the grade. I get them graded because I like to. So there's Grievous sitting in the ship. Um, his saber store in these compartments. I want to do this carefully. Pulls to the back. He's got two sabers in there and two in the other side. And then if you push under here, you can shoot the two little beams out. This was an interesting ship to build. Um, you think the back's going to be the front. And it ends up not being... I've still got another Lego set to put together and I've got all those, uh, the flight, um, hot wheels. Like here's a two pack I found that is awesome. So I take these out of box and I put them up. Um, yes. So it is already with Sean, uh, Campbell's, but when we're talking computers, I literally still have an all in one water cooler from Corsair. I have a Corsair case sitting over there. That's a beautiful case of mid tower. I have an extra power supply. Mm, 
and maybe some other stuff. And I still have the styrofoam and the box that the case goes in upstairs. Don't ever get rid of your PC case boxes. And the reason I didn't add a Windows 10 code is there's plenty of places you can get Windows 10 codes that are a whole lot cheaper than getting them from retail stores. They're legal. Just like how you can go buy digital download codes for video games that are absolutely legal. They're just cheaper somehow. I don't know what the legality is, how they get to do it, but you can get those codes a lot cheaper than you can buying a game. So, sorry. And yes, I love to take pops out of box. Let's do a real good example real quick. What can I get to without making a mess? Oh, yeah, yeah. This one right here. So, this one I've never gotten to take out of box. This is the Crusaderette. I have the Crusader and his box is destroyed. I paid up for her when she came out at the con because I like her. In fact, I bought the two-pack of Dorbs of Crusader and Crusaderette because I just think it's cool. I love the Emerald City. Um, I have Cal Kestis and BD1 sitting out here because I think with as free as they were in the video game, they should be able to not be stuck in a box. And the Force, a lesson in the Force, Yoda is sitting right back there, which I still think to date is the best Funko Pop that's been released so far this year. Um, I have none of the zombies. I don't plan to collect them, but I do have most of the remix aliens. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the Lego helmets are not easy to build. Um, I built the Stormtrooper. Or did I build the TIE Fighter? No, I built the Stormtrooper. So, Crusaderette, good example. She won't ever get graded. She's just cool to look at and play with. But like... Um, Kitty Sam's World is doing a Reptar for us made to look like Lucas or like Lucas. And I will have it graded just so when Lucas is older, he'll still be able to have it. The box won't degrade in value. It'll be sealed. Um, yes. Oh, Millennium Falcon. It's hanging out in the other room. I just don't have room for it. I have the Lego version and the Han Solo one, and I heard a rumor they're coming out with a Chewy version. Um, I don't keep any 10-inch pops really in box. I've got Slave Leia, um, Jabba the Hutt, Slash Just Be Crumb in the box, only because when you take them out, it's not a scene. It's just three loose pieces, and it doesn't look good out of box. But I will tell you, Mike Sully Boo... George Sanderson, the unmasked Tony Stark that's up there that is like my Marvel grail, uh, James Rhodes, they all came out of box before I sent them in. Uh, but like you talked about them earlier, I have one in box, but uh, yeah, his head is so big that you can literally bounce him by his head. I have a 10 inch child along with all the other children at a box. No, I'm not a box snob by any means. It's just some stuff I want to be able to preserve. All my hot toys you see are out of box and they're posed and most of them are in museum pose. Lay is about to fall over, but most of them are fairly aggressively posed like 3PO with his arms up like he's screaming back in the back. Um, I don't think I own a single 10 inch pop that's part of my collection that's in box except for the chase troll because I wanted the chase sticker to be seen, but it's down low enough where the kids can play with it. My kids like collecting. They love the blue kiss protectors. Um, they lay flatter than the seven bucks of pop protectors. I, I don't try to make any money. I've just got to hit my sales quota. You can literally get 200 of them at my cost, shipped directly from seven bucks a pop. And everything the kids get, they want in a protector. They ask me when I give them something, Dad, is this a toy or should we collect it? And uh, if it's in a box, typically we leave it in a box. We pull a lot of stuff out too. I mean, I've got toys all over my desk. That's the Hulk from the Avengers game. 
There's a little kid robot, a little dunny. It's just what, it, and there's a tape measure. I mean, you, you never can tell what you would find on my desk if you saw it from what the camera hides. In fact, I don't know that these are even going to fit my face. and I'm going to go blind for a second. But we're going to pull a good old geeky mama bear. All right, here we go. It's time for a wardrobe change. Bam! Wow. Um, I can't see what I look like wearing these. If y'all don't know what these are, these are from the Hot Topic Dragon Ball Z box. God, those showed up in one of the mystery boxes I got the other day. That is absolutely terrible. Okay, I can see again. <laughs> yes, I will most definitely be repping my GMB shirt on the on the good old Luau. And then right here, I have a card signed by uh, good old Shannon Elizabeth because she didn't have a pop from American Pie. And she was quite pissed off when she saw this card because she didn't even know it existed. You know, Campbell's, they were in the plastic bag until just now, and I thought that was a good idea. So I pulled them out. I would take all these Spartan Warriors out of box, but they're not mine. So I respectfully leave them in what they came in. Um, we're just hanging out, having a good time. I mean, this has been... Oh, probably the most relaxed Sunday I've had in a long, long time. I came out here to play Xbox. So when I tell you that my system's more than powerful enough, we like playing Forza Horizon 4, which has to have fairly fast graphics because of how fast you're flying by scenes. And I have my Xbox Elite 2 controller because the kids destroyed my first Elite controller. This one doesn't get where they can touch it. And I can sit in here in insane mode or ultimate mode, whatever it's called, at 1440 at 165 frames a second and play till my heart's content and I don't get lag. It actually runs better than it does on the Xbox. Um, and that is because that 3700X processor that I have, which is a little bit of an investment, but it's an eight core, 16 thread CPU, which means it can do a lot of stuff at once, a lot of different things. And then that 2070 Super um, doesn't bottleneck the CPU and isn't bottlenecked by the CPU. They both complement each other well. Um, I returned and it swapped a lot of stuff in my computer before I was finally happy. I wanted all my lights to be controlled by one thing. So everything I run is Corsair um, through the IQ software, even my fans and my water cooling. I can't see who's typing there. Hey, it's Gene. Wait, you're going to fly to Alabama and come see me, bro? That would be freaking awesome. Hey, Gene, did you see what I've got behind me collection-wise? I have Kylo Ren, Ben Solos, Luke Skywalkers, Anakin Luke Rays, and Mace Windu's Legacy Sabers from Disney. I found a connection. Um, Yeah. So grandmother had crazy diabetes stuff going um, and we're still insulin shots daily at night. And then the fast acting insulin before each meal. Um, and literally she feels better and looks healthier and her joints feel better than it's been in a long, long time. And it's all cause we're getting her sugars down. Gene, I don't know if I could get better performance for what I want to do, but that 2070 super as a founder's edition and it's water cooled and that 3,700 X on that X 570 pro board, rather I, I can't make it stutter and I can't get my temps on my graphics card above about 55 Celsius. And I can't get my CPU above 50 Celsius. Um, And to keep them that low and running a, a single radiator loop, I got nothing to complain about. 
Um, people say water cooling scares them and they run like the leak test kits. And I, I just plugged it in. Graphics cards vertical. What can happen to it? And uh, it's been great. Blue fluid in there. I got the little uh, spinny wheel on the bottom of the graphics card to tell me the fans, the pump's moving. And when I took the wall unit out where the window is now and put the mini split in, I heard how loud my fans are. Um, yeah, I ran Heaven and Cinebench. So if y'all don't know what those are, Cinebench puts heavy load, full load on your CPU and Heaven puts full load on your graphics card. I ran both of those simultaneously and could not <laughs> crash the system or overheat my stuff. And that was with custom fan curves and all that fun stuff. So I'm learning a little bit. Um, Jay's Two Cents is one of the funnier tech channels I watch because he always messes up what he's saying and his cameraman laughs and there's funny editing, but he gives you some really good ideas of what you can do to get power out of your computer. And Gene was a huge help. But Geeky Mama Bear was going to buy a Dell. I said, please don't let me help you. You know, I've got that case here that we were talking about and the, the power supply, and I've still got an AIO, just don't have fans on it. And I went on PC Parts Picker, and I just put her together a list. And for, like, faster RAM, uh, NVMe storage, uh, 2070 Super instead of a 2060, uh, and we went from Intel to AMD, we got her like a couple hundred bucks cheaper and like three times the performance. So she kept saying, but this one's good for what I need. And I'm like, please let me help you. I don't want to charge you a penny. Just order the part. Have them sitting here. Let me build it. And then you cover whatever it costs to ship it to you. I like building. I bought one of the little, I fix it screwdrivers, uh, the Makos, um, just because I'm a geek for that stuff. I got the magnetic mat. But I've got, like, this stays with me. This is all my extra PC screws. You can't really see it. It's going to white out pretty bad. But that's all my extra standoffs and fan screws and cable clips and everything else that I've collected just in building two CPU, two computers. So, um, I got you. And I'm a geek enough. This will tell you how bad those bots were, right? When they talked about me being a geek, that when LTT store dropped the 40 ounce bottles, I bought the stealth version. It'll never come out of box, but in fact, it'll sit somewhere in my display. No, that'll block Luke. What if we put them right there? Not to use, because uh, I use Yeti cups, but literally just because, uh, yeah, they're. Uh, Yep. Also, if you have a Windows computer now and you're signed into it, you can go into the recover computer, whatever section it is, and you can show that you're not using that old PC anymore and it'll let you pull your key right over. You just need to go and download a new install drive before you kill off your old system. So, Gene, this one got so many drivers on it and so backwards from all the motherboard swaps and graphics cards that I started fresh about two months ago. So I just downloaded a recovery drive, put it on thumb drive, uh, wiped the system, uh, major formats on all my hard drives, and started fresh. I had one drive I kept with a lot of my files and my Steam library on it. Everything else was gone. And the computer runs so much better now. And that's literally because I got rid of all the junk I don't need. I also use a program called driver easy. Um, it finds drivers that windows update won't find and speeds up my system drastically. And I use clean my PC. I use clean my Mac for years which is a way that it goes through and cleans up the system junk and all the deletable files and clears up space because I've got a terabyte and a half of storage in there, two 500 gig NVMe drives and uh, T-Force Delta Max RGB at two and a half inch drive. And then I've got a four terabyte uh, USB 3.1 a drive that runs off one of those weird connections from USB. 
that's powered that sits outside of it. And I've got a four terabyte backup going at all times. So I, I've got enough hard drives that I could run a raid, but I don't need to, if I lose everything, yeah. all my thumbnails and all my other CC cleaner is best to use along with malware bytes. It's all I use for cleaning. I've been using, um, clean my Mac and now clean my PC for five, six, seven years now. And I just got used to using it and I like it. I think I've got McAfee on this computer, but I turn off all the extra stuff. I just have it run a scan every once in a while and I don't do stupid things. I don't download torrents anymore because if I can't watch it on YouTube, Disney plus YouTube TV, Netflix, Amazon Prime, then probably don't need to be watching it. And uh, I mean, that's just how I am. I hate that even with the higher plan I pay for with my cable internet, they throttle me to 20 meg upload, but that's because AT&T wasn't reliable. And here we sit. Yeah. So yeah, it's like what you're used to. I learned clean my Mac. God, I was... I got my first Mac when I was probably 24, 25 years old. No, I was younger than that. It was before the military. So I was probably 19 when I got my first MacBook, one of those white ones with a plastic all around them. And I started using it then because the hard drive wasn't big enough and I'd clean out old files. Um, and I've just been using it ever since. It's used what you know. Um, I'm learning to use a lot of new stuff as I never knew what a steam library was. Um, but I, I don't play a lot of games. And if I do, I tried to use the computer. I mean, I have the good keyboard, but I, I use an elite two wireless controller. It'd be wireless. If I had Wi-Fi or Bluetooth in the computer, um, the other board had it on it. This one didn't. And I just haven't put an adapter in yet. So I just plug it in to the USB port on the front of the computer. Um, so I do not like the cherry red or cherry blue keys. They're too high for me. Um, I really like the Logitech. Do I have enough loose cord here? The Logitech keys, the clicky keys, they sit so low. And, uh, Hyper X double short keys. See, that's just further than I needed. I've got two of these that I don't even run computer software on. I run onboard memory to keep all my um, G keys the way I want them. And literally, it's set up for YouTube. G1 is refresh, so it'll refresh my chat. G4 and G5 are copy and paste. And then for work, G2 and G3 do special functions on that keyboard. Um I have a Logitech 502 Lightspeed uh, that sits with the work computer. And right now I'm running a Corsair Dark Core RGB Pro mouse that is my current mouse on this system. And I just, I don't know, I like it. It works. Um, but I tried a Corsair and a HyperX keyboard and it just went back to the Logitech um, had a shift key go bad Logitech sent me a new keyboard not a bad way to do it y'all don't forget I will be on the Luau tonight Sarah was nice enough to gift me her come on live slot um, I think Luau is the only channel that I support not only on Patreon but also as a subscriber but it's not because like Luau is my absolute favorite I love Andrew to death it's because I want to pop in candy and I love his little once a month or every couple week live streams he does for his channel members. I'm subscribed to Jetta Patrol too because I can pop him up questions on Instagram about hot toys and figures and he responds instantly or within a few hours and that alone is worth the $2 a month or $4 a month I give to him. But... Just want to talk about something real quick. I want to show y'all something. So we're not pulling the blade out. We're not going to turn them on. 
But this is Ben Solo's saber. Am I even going to be able to do this without crazy lighting if I hold it all the way up here? So you see it's got the weird belt clip on the back. It's got the exposed at the bottom. It's kind of sealed in at the top. And it's painted silver. There's its activation button right there. Easy enough. If you're not a geek like I am in Star Wars, you probably don't know this. And I learned this. This is Kylo Ren's saber. As you see, it's got the cutouts at the bottom. The wires ran to the top where the kyber crystal blew out the top and fire shot out the sides. So the reason he shoots fire is his kyber crystal is not stable. But this is the exact same saber turned black and modified when he destroyed his kyber crystal as he went from Ben Solo to Kylo Ren. And that is why it looks the way it does. And that is why fire shoots out of the sides because he literally blew out the sides of his lightsaber when he turned dark. That much hatred in his heart. And that's why the wire runs up the side. Um, that is helping this stupid thing run because he, he basically broke it and had to ghetto rig it. Um, I love these things. Though. These are awesome. I geek out for him. Okay. Y'all asked, y'all didn't ask me to do it, but I'm going to do it just once. Where's the blade? Put the blade away today because Addison wouldn't focus. So Ben Solos, I got it right here. I'm not doing Kylo Ren's. It takes too long to put the side blades in and stuff. But when you pop your blade in, it gives you its activation noise. Flip your switch and it's on. You get those flashes like the sabers going off. Um, if I could cover that window, you'd see it a whole lot better. Tonight on Luau, if you'll let me, I might show them off. But when they turn off, they've got that downward movement. So you don't actually have to hit them. You can pop them on the bottom, which simulates combat and the flash. And you can see it even with the color, how bright that flash is. So... I love them. Um, and the 36 inch blade works in all of them. For Ahsoka's, they've got a 36 and a shorter blade, but still it works in all of them. I will tell you the stands that Disney gives for these things are an immense pain in the butt to get them to stay. Like that one just slid off its stand. You can see it sitting sideways now. It's just little plastic clips. Um, if you're going to dedicate them to one, I'm pretty sure I'm going to super glue them in place. Um, probably my favorite one to play with, though. Uh, it's got to be Mace Windu's. I got his specifically because if the rumor is true, Samuel L. Jackson said, if I'm going to be a Jedi, I'm going to have a purple lightsaber. And I can imagine like a damn it behind it or something. Something about purple. I just love it. And the the overdoneness of gold and silver with that comfort grip. Absolutely love Mace Windu Saber. So I will have three blades total, which means I can light all three colors that I have at once. I have, well, I have four colors. I have red, green, blue, and purple. Darth Revan Saber was a bust. Um, y'all saw, if y'all were there on the live, that it worked for a second and then it no longer worked. And it has been returned. Um, and then y'all did not see, I didn't even put it on video, the Ray Saber from Disney, um, the Disney Park store online. Um, straight up defective. Still waiting on all that money to come back from the $250 saber from Big Bad Toy Store and then that one. But I have Black Series sabers that are really, really nice. They're just not able to display as a hilt, which is how the Jedi carried them. They didn't have to carry around a big blade. So, love them. People seem to not like them because when I pull them out, the, the viewership goes down. I used the child that I got from Zobi that I bought, not in a Zobi box, to hide the wires, and then I moved that shelf down lower. Uh, got the cracking up there. I mean, it's just, it's turning into more of my toy shop. 
I do love it. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, so that's been my today. That Funko sign right there, I found it on Etsy. Uh, it's like, just picked one that had some good reviews. It was like 20 something dollars. Wasn't bad at all. Uh, I think it was like 22 shipped. And then I go to Lou Al's Etsy all the time, bought some of his mystery boxes. Um, if anybody needs a Kylo Ren um, Supreme Leader Smuggler's Bounty, I have four of them now. You need to do. I put, huh? Campbell's, that makes no sense. Did one of your kids get a hold of your phone? But, guys, I will see you all tonight on Luau. I am going to play some Xbox for a little while. Uh, if you are on xbox and you want to come chat i can pop the headset in um no but i'm subscribed so i'm gonna get it i don't even know what it is it's got red skull zombie and i don't want that but i've still got black widow's box sitting down there unopened So, I've still got Spider-Man, homemade suit Spider-Man, sitting in his box because I've tried three times now to pose him, and I'm just not satisfied with the pose I can get. So, it is what it is. Well, I will see y'all later. Just came to have some fun. Yeah, I know. Uh, I had the first one for a while. Um, we'll get the box. We'll get the t-shirt. We'll play with it for a little while. See what happens. But. Y'all be good. I will see y'all later. Remember, I tell you three things every time. Do something day to make tomorrow better. Help somebody in need. And never take anything for granted. This is your boy, Pop Life Toys. And we're out.